demonstration will show how to export transient CFD results to a transient structural system. In this example, we're going to export the solid temperature field from a transient CFX CHT analysis and bring that into a transient structural system to calculate thermal stresses. So the first step is to export the CFD results to text files that can be read in through external data. And I want to export the temperature field on the solid domains in this case. So I put in my first time step, and I use the file export dialog to export data to a text file. And the time step number should be um, added to the text file name so you know which file corresponds to which time step. I can see my locations to export, in this case, two solid domains. And the variable to export is going to be temperature. So I even overwrite that file. I look at the file that's exported, it's just a text file that contains the X, Y, Z coordinates and the temperature data. Um, the other variable, so surface pressures, surface forces can be exported as well as heat transfer coefficients, etc. And I'm showing CFX results here, but these text files could be exported from any CFD package. That test then needs to be repeated for each time step. Run that manually though. A script can be used to loop over all the time steps and export these files, and a sample script is provided along with this example. Once you have all your text files, you add the external data component to the project schematic and connect that to the structural setup cell. With the external data, we now want to select all the text files that have been exported for each time step. So I'll multi select all five time steps in this case. Then if I look at my text file, you can see that the actual data starts on line number seven. That's where I want my import to start. So if I multi-select these files, I can turn external data to start reading from line number seven. More data, it now needs to know what column A, B, C, and D correspond to in that text file. And I want to make sure I I'm annotating these columns for all the files at once. I don't want to re be repeating this process uh, five times because in a real case, I would have many more than five time steps. So I select my five files here. Then in this table of files view, I can sort the columns by being so that all my columns A and B and C are together. Now I can multi-select all the columns A. And when I do this, I need to make sure I'm clicking here on the number row, right on the left hand side, so the entire row is selected. Don't select an individual cell, you need to be on the entire row. Select that row, then I right click and say come A corresponds to the X coordinates. Now I need to repeat that, the remaining columns, so multi-select my files, sort my columns, select the column B's, right click and set my Y coordinate. again for the last coordinate. It's the column D, which corresponds to the temperature values. The so next external data knows which column in this text file refers to. I check your units here. So my coordinates have assumed units of meters, and my temperature has assumed units of Celsius. And if I check what was actually exported, then my coordinate units are correct, but I need to change my temperature units to Kelvin here. So I will repeat the same process, solve the files, solve columns, selecting in column D, but this time set my units to Kelvin. Before we go on to mechanical, I want to copy these file identifiers. So this file identifier um, points to you know, the temperature value in each of the files for each of the time steps. This will be useful later to paste into mechanical so that I, so that I don't need to import each time step um, individually. So I'm going to, going to select these file identifiers for the temperature value, which is what I want to import, and just copy those to the clipboard. Now update my, update my external data system and open mechanical. So 
So with mechanical, I need to set up five load steps in this case. And again, I want to make sure I'm not doing anything five times here. So I start by selecting the end time for the first load step just to be one second. And then I'm going to find five load steps. And then the next step would be to set the end time for each of those load steps. In this case, I'll just use the default values, one, two, three, four, five seconds. That corresponds to my CFD results. But in the more general case, you can copy um, end time values from an X file or from an Excel spreadsheet and paste them into this column here. Step is to set the analysis settings for each of my load steps. I want to do that again for all five load steps simultaneously. So in this graph view, I'm going to multiply these five load steps. In analysis settings, I'm going to, for example, turn off auto time stepping for all of those load steps and perhaps a single sub-step. In this case, it's a very simple analysis. This completes my analysis setting. Now I import a load for each one of those load steps. And again, I want to do this in a way so that I'm not repeating anything five times. So I start by importing a body temperature and slide two solid domains. And then this is where it, this is where it was useful to copy those file identifiers from external data, and those get pitted into this column right here. So now you see that each load step uh, or each load step will correspond to a different file and a different temperature value. But we need to set the analysis time that corresponds to each one of these files. So you know, at what time do I want file three, for example, to be read? And the easy way to do that is just copy your time data your load steps and paste them over here. These files will be read at the appropriate time. And that completes the analysis. This is now ready to, or completes the setup. This is now ready to solve. When all this, my imported body temperature will be um, added in, and it will be a different temperature for each time step. And note, for example, the affirmation tool here and look at the total deformation, in this case at the last time step, and I can set this to different time values and evaluate the deformations at different time step sizes. I see that we're getting different deformations at different times because we've imported a different uh, temperature value. And last tip, um, with the external data module, if the coordinate values are the same in all five of your files, which is the case here, you can set one of your files to be the master file, and that will just speed up the interpolation process. So we don't need to uh, read the coordinate values from all the files because they're the same. We'll read the coordinate values from the master file, and then just temperature will be interpolated, assuming it corresponds to the same coordinates. So that creates this one-way analysis of transferring uh, volumetric temperature data from CFD to mechanical for, for a transient structural system. And the process can be used for other data such as pressure, uh, forces, uh, heat transfer coefficients.